Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Saturday the 5th of April. Thanks again for watching. And the Japanese Met Agency have released their uh, latest ideas for the next month. So we just wanted to have a quick look ahead with you today and just show you what's going on here. This is the week one forecast which is taking us up to the uh, 10th of April and uh, what it's shown here look trough in the Atlantic Ridge across the UK here and uh, pumping in these uh, south to southwest winds through the course of this week so it's, it's actually showing high pressure building and saying look conditions are going to be uh, not too bad there's going to be lots of dry weather around central and eastern areas but out towards the west more unsettled conditions that's basically what we're going to be seeing. Now into week two, which takes us forward from the 11th of April through to the 17th of April. And uh, what they're trying to do is show this trough out in the Atlantic, but build the ridge through the UK as well. So it's trying again to get higher pressure in during this middle part of April. Now that's tying in sort of with the Koreans. Um, they also make quite a big thing of the trough out towards the west and the trough out towards the east, but they actually position them <clears throat> closer to the British Isles. So they're going for more unsettled conditions, but the Japanese go for more settled weather. And at the moment, I'm tending to lean into the idea of the Japanese, the, the, more, the more settled conditions, but perhaps rain affecting uh, Ireland and western parts of the UK. Confidence low in the detail, but the overall pattern, this idea of the double trough and the ridge in between, and almost that Amiga high building, is one that um, I can sort of accept. And then into weeks three and four, which is from the 18th of April, taking us right the way through until the beginning of May. And again, look, remember this is the mean over two weeks. It tries to get the trough out in the Atlantic, builds the ridge off towards the east. And I think what this is indicative of is that during the first part of this period, yes, the high is close by uh, and it's probably across Scandinavia with this trough trying to get going in the Atlantic. But I think probably what happens is that during the second half of this period, so from sort of the 23rd, 24th onwards, we see the low break through um, into this position here. So the jet stream probably... No, it probably won't be that far south, actually. It's probably going to be a little bit further north than that. Let me just draw that on again. So it's probably going to be somewhere uh, in here, somewhere developing. And I think what that does is it brings low-pressure areas with it. We get higher pressure building through Europe in a ridge like so. So I think what happens is, from let's say, from about the 24th onwards, we turn more and settled across the UK, um, but that ridge builds into much of central and southern parts of Europe. So I'm going to go with the idea that for the coming week, we probably do see some damper conditions north and west, but the high trying to hold on to the east and the south, bringing dry weather. And it probably into the middle of May, we, into the middle of April, sorry, we see this more general, general building pressure, which could bring some fairly fair conditions. But then towards the end of the month, things go more unsettled as those westerlies kick back in. So just wanted to show you that for now. Thanks again for watching and whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining and bye for now.